and the way inside the house let's break down this door here and we're in got a workbench here um yeah let's repair the dangerous crowbar you get a little spit shine and this bleeding baseball bat may be the lowest guy in the pecking order and I may be ditching him soon so I'm not going to I don't think I'm going to repair him just yet now in here is a thug that you have to kill honorable mention goes to Rar Foxington who pointed out that this thug doesn't actually attack you it's kind of glitched out one of the only thugs I know of in the game that doesn't actually attack you I never knew this um, I just automatically <laughs> throw a Molotov every, at every thug I see um, as soon as I got Molotovs online so I've, n I've never noticed this in all the times that I play this game that this thug doesn't actually attack you no matter what. Go right up to him. How you doing there thug? And he won't do anything. You can kick him in the nuts. <laughs> you can uh, shoot him in the foot. <laughs> you can um, take a crowbar to his head. He won't do anything. Will ya? You're just a pussy ass thug aren't you? Aren't you? Yeah, you're a pussy ass thug, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, so I never noticed that. But you know what, I think I'm gonna give him a hunk of hunk of burn in love anyways. Just because I like watching thugs burn. Yeah, it's a... Oh yeah, burn baby burn! Don't get too close now. Down you go. It's also the fastest way. Yeah. Pop goes the weasel. Pop goes the weasel. Oh, his head didn't pop. Okay. He's got the keys. Grab the keys. And that's it, Bob's your uncle. So, Harlan. Everything's cool. Come on in. Now, where's this crap you're telling us about? Jeez. <laughs> uh-huh. A universal axe. Interesting. Sharp weapon, I won't be using that. Interesting though. And that's that. You're absolutely right, Harlan. Bunch of crap. Alright, so what else you want us to do? Ooh, I wondered what the hell happened to you. I guess it wasn't the dead I smelled, but just the damp and mildew. There we go. Crippling baseball bat, not too shabby. Not too shabby. Seem better, but this is not too shabby. It'll work. Uh, do we have space? Yeah, let's take that sucker on. You're on board. Now, give Name's it to us. Harlan. I'm an airline pilot, and I was staying at the hotel. I was on my way to the airport, and this is as far as I got. So, for now, the shack will have to do. Mm -hmm. I got food, I got water, but the only electricity comes from a gas powered generator. You want me to get you some gas, need right? More gas, and <laughs> otherwise I'm gonna be sitting my ass in the dark. Eventually the situation will settle, but until then. Love the way he says that situation. So the situation is I gotta find two gas cans at a gas station and deliver them to Harlan. What do you say, Sambi? I'ma try. Alright. Now down the hill is a gas station. You bring me two cans of gas, and I'll pay you for it. Okay, so, um, new missions, new side mission, or side quest is Fluid Necessity. Find two gas cans at the gas station, down at the tunnel gas station, and deliver them back to Harlan. He gives you some cash, and you get some XP. After you complete that quest, you get a new quest, I believe it's called... Uh... I forget what it's called. Anyways, it's not a quest, it's a continuous event, and every time you bring Harlan three bottles of alcohol, he gives you a uh, Molotov, which is better than this deal here. Fury Drinks, which might, you know, that's Mike's deal. You get one Molotov for every five bottles of alcohol. Alright, so that's the deal with that. So now we have another side quest on board, and conveniently enough, it's in the exact same location as we're going to complete the main quest. So, off we go. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Hi, people. How's my driving? Oh, pretty bad. I didn't hit him. <laughs> Can't believe it. Humble apologies. I didn't run any of you over. Okay, we'll take care of that. Smacky, smacky. Yeah. 
Ow! Oh yeah, sweet. Down you go. Okay, your hits popped off. You get a stompy stompy. Wait your turn there, buddy. Okay, your turn. And you get a stomp well, okay. Well, you get ripped off. Sorry, buddy. You died too soon. Now let's rifle through your luggage. A deodorant, sweet. Done and done. Alright, ta ta, see you in the funny papers. I just love driving in this game. Yeah. <laughs> Did I get my feathers ruffled? Yeah, a little bit. Let's see if we can find a, a red bull here. Pound one of these back. Look, look, look. He's usually a pretty good blunt Let's weapon see here. what we got here. And the game made a complete liar out of me. All right, I even take that on board. first time <laughs> okay on down to the gas station at the gas station we're gonna pick up two cans of gas and one juice pack but it's not gonna be that easy and I'll explain why in a minute first let's do some preliminary running over <laughs> now, get used to this, because it's going to be happening for the next 20 minutes. This is essentially um, kind of like a high thread zone, where pairs of infected just keep rushing you, periodically, just over and over again. So you got to work quickly in between those rushes. Great place to milk some meat, if you're into that kind of thing, and I am into that kind of thing. Okay, so everybody's down. Everybody gets a smack down, beat down, whatever you like. I got it all. Uh, one can of gas is right here in this little red car right beside the, um, the pumps there. Grab that up. Mosey in on over to your truck. Plunk it in. There we go. Bob's your uncle. And here's the deal. The juice pack that we need to get is in there. The only way you can get in there is to get on the roof, kick open a glass uh, roof, uh, glass panel on the roof and drop down in a side. And pretty much the only way you can get up there is that ladder there. And of course, here we go, is um, <laughs> a pool of electrified water. So you ain't going across there. Well, you can actually make it across if you're quick. Uh, you're going to get hurt, but you can make it across if you go real quick. Um, this is another side quest that's been handed to us. As soon as you go across that line there, the game gives you another side quest. Water dance. And that is to turn off the electricity in this area. Turn off switch A, turn off switch B, and turn off switch C. Okay? So that's the deal with that. What you can do is cheat your way around it. I don't recommend it because it creates kind of a glitch where the water dance quest keeps popping up over and over again every time you start the game. So I'm going to cle complete the water dance quest. What we can do is drive your truck over there right beside that um, that red car there and then you can just kind of like do a Super Mario thing up on top of the roof and then just, you know, get down inside, grab the juice pack and be on your merry way. But I'm going to complete the quest, the water dance quest, just for posterity. Here's the first switch. Down it goes, and there's also another can of gas in here. Grab that up. Now we got two cans of gas for Harlan. That's all done. Plunk it in the truck. Next, let's hit switch B. Switch B is down by the tunnel, which is why this is called the tunnel gas station. There's the tunnel right there.
Are you a thug? Oh shit. You are a thug. Damn it. I didn't mean to run you over. <laughs> we'll just lost some XP. Oh well. And in here, a bunch of burning infected keep spawning. So watch out, because burning infected are the worst kind of infected. You don't really want to take them on head on. Unless you're some kind of masochist. And what we gotta do is climb up to that platform there to hit switch B. Except the ladder is too high. You gotta jump up and get it. What you're supposed to do <laughs> is pile up some crates. Uh, so that you can, you know, pile up some crates at the bottom of the ladder so you can, like, reach the ladder. But, you know, just jump up and that's all there is to it. Okay. And I think I'm going to make use of this propane tank, so just whip that down there. And that infected wandered away, so hey, took one look at the slack and said, holy shit, it's major slack. Here's the second second switch, mate. switch B. That's down. Want to pound back a Red Bull or grab a Snickers bar there? And that's for your, for your convenience. Switch C is in the garage in the back. <laughs> stompy, stompy. Stompy, stompy. Hang on, hang on. There we go. No, no, stomp. Yeah. There we go. Excellent. Now, give me the meat. Meat. That's what I really want. I don't care about the 29 bucks. Meat. And we're good. All right, doing good on the meat. Yeah, <laughs> lots of meat. Eighteen meat. That means six meat bait. Sweet. Now, may I put this propane tank in the truck and be on my merry way? Huh? Is that all right with you, gentlemen? Shit. Here they come again. <laughs> I'm not even bother with you. He's still chasing me. Once again, I implore you to do the math, okay? I have a half ton pickup truck. You. Oh shit, I pulled a bunch of them. Okay, okay, okay. You guys got a point. You're a force to be reckoned with. <laughs> well, pretty much. <laughs> I hate killing him outright. Oh, he coughs up 397 beans, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um. Where we have to go to shut off the third switch is in here. And I think I'm going to bring along my little propane tank. You there. You're coming with me? Just for shits and giggles. Don't really need it, but hey. And as you can see, once you get the revolver, or any kind of gun, whenever you throw a propane tank, or an explosive device, uh, you immediately equip your gun, which makes it a lot easier to set it off. That's very convenient. So that's what you see happening here. So we go in here. And there's a zombie around the corner. Have him lunch. We're just gonna heat things up for him a little bit. Aren't we? Yeah. Hey, yo, yeah. And usually some infected go running around and they manage to clip through the door. This is kind of weird. <laughs> you can actually beat them up through the door. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here's them. And we got a couple more propane tanks here. One is here. I 
think there's an effect is still there. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Ouch. What do you got there? A knife? Oh, here we go. Stompy, stompy. Oh, I killed you instantly. Dang it. I hate when that happens. Just for that, you get shot in the ass. <laughs> You're taking one for the team. <laughs> Okay, what do you got? I can hear another thug in there. Don't waste any Molotovs on him. When you got another propane tank up here. And what's your story? Oh, look at this. Indestructible heavy brass knuckles. I don't think I've ever seen anything called like that. Indestructible? Like seriously indestructible? It's a purple one anyways. Still not moddable. Looks sweet though. Let me try that out. All right. I think somebody else wants a hunk hunk of burning love too. Who might that be? You! Alright. Having a bad day? Yeah. It's gonna get worse. Sorry. It's my job. <laughs> what can I say? Now give it up. Dang it. Nothing. Nothing. You get a boot in the nuts for that. Okay, and here's the third power switch. Turn that sucker off, and the electrified pool is no longer electrified. There we go. Now we can access the ladder. And this workbench here. Bleeding baseball bat. Uh, I'm not yet going to repair the crowbar. Crippling, definitely repair the crippling baseball bat. Uh, Scorcher, yeah, we'll repair you. I got two sets of brass knuckles. That's it for now. Maybe there's something in here. Maybe there is. Maybe there's something in here. He's got kind of like a Barry White kind of voice. You'll never find. Another love lag man. <laughs> yeah. Oh. 